All 17 participants of Semifinal Final 2 have rehearsed for the first time and we're doing the impossible, but we always do it, so why change tradition? Uh, we decide after the first round of individual rehearsals, have our predictions change. Here are the 10 countries that we all three of us think will go through subject to change. But for now, let's talk Eurovision. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. So, it's the moment of truth. Who do we think, after watching everyone rehearse for the first time, are there any changes or not? And this was a very interesting list because we did the same thing for semifinal one, and there were a good, there were like I think six where we all agreed, right? Yes. How many do you think we all three of us agree today? Oh, we had six in common last time. Last oh, time. last time. I think this, it's going to be higher. I think. Yeah. Because I know that we had nine in common. You already spoiled that to me. Yeah, nine. All so it all depends nine? on how many nine? Melanie had. As a matter of fact, Melanie and I complete 100%. Yeah? Yes. So it's. Oh. And Boris and I, we agree. And then I, and then I know which one I don't yes, have. Yes, and I get it. But let's go for them real quick here. So the, um, out of the nines um, that we agree, the first one is Switzerland. Obviously, an obvious choice. I mean, yeah, after that. It's my favorite. I think everyone who watches this, this channel for a long time knows I love Chantez, I love the song, and the staging just elevated it. It's just the perfect song for Eurovision, so yeah. Uh, the second country on our list, Greece. So once again, uh, Boris, any thoughts on that? I mean, that's another obvious one, huh? Mm, I think Greece is an obvious qualifier in this. No, I think in terms of like the stage concept that they're bringing, it's actually completely distinct from everything else we've seen so far. Um, there are, of course, a couple of mishaps here and there, like a couple of negatives. For instance, I'm not too fond of the graphics that they're using with their green screen. But I think Stefania herself is like, she has, she has that performance energy. This is really undeniable. I think, um, you know, the countries that come after Stefania are just are just left coughing in the dust when she passes. Like, you know, like she's going to have like the opposite. It's going to be the opposite effect of Goe in the previous semi. Goe are going to destroy the countries before them. Stefania is going to make the peons going after her feel insignificant. She's that good. Uh, I'm really I'm really pleased for Greece. This is their best entry since 2013. High price, yeah, for sure. Again, and the third country on the list. Iceland. I mean, there's a reason why it went up in the betting odds after that performance. Everyone felt, everyone, most people felt in love with what they've done. I don't think there was any critical uh, statement in terms of staging. So this one will fly through and we'll figure it out at some point where it's going to end up in the finals. But any kind of doubt when it comes to a qualification is like, no, of course it's going to go through. Uh, that would be the shock of the century if this wasn't going to happen. Fourth on our list, Finland, Melanie, I mean. Yeah, this... We expected it. It's just a really great rock song. They're bringing it alive. They're just doing it. They're having fun. And yeah, what yeah. do I have to say more? No, not really. That's all that sums it up. The fifth country on our list, all three of us think will go through San Marino. Boris, any thoughts on that? I'm actually surprised we all three have San Marino because that's the one I'm actually the least secure on. You because are? I feel like, you know, it's still, you know, it's still San Marino. It's still Sen Hit. I'm like, I don't want to jinx that by saying that she's through. But at the same time, I feel like she has more than enough fan support. And sort of, you know, it, you can sometimes just feel it in the water of like, yeah, this is the entry. This is the one in, well, not maybe in a thousand, but one in 10 chance, chance when a country can actually do very well at Eurovision, despite the fact that they're a micro state or a small country. And this feels like that entry for San Marino, more so than Sir Hat was last year. Sir Hat, like, you know, he closed the semi-final, San Marino are opening it, and I still feel not Nervous. super confident, but I still feel somewhat confident that they can make it if Florida also makes it. And yeah. it looks like that might be the case. Um, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. I, I hope they can make it. Me too, me too. At least we're all on the same page that it will, regardless whether it's first in the semis or 10th, it will go through. Yeah. Um, in sixth place, not sixth place, the sixth country that on my list here is uh, Serbia. And I will say that I was initially not sure. I, when I came here, I was like, I have them as a borderline non-qualifier, but something changed with the staging. They're like, okay, I'm now leaning more towards a qualification for Serbia. I still have always had concern about juries with that one, but I think the televote's going to be much bigger than I initially anticipated. There's just so much going on. I, we all think um, Serbia, see you in the finals. 
And then who else on this? We all agree. It's so boring. Yeah. Um, number seven on my list. I didn't put a number down, but it's Bulgaria. Bulgaria. Yeah. Any, Victoria. Any questions? It was just amazing. Like it was so intimate. It felt so fragile. She was amazing. It was just a great station, guys. I just hope that you guys can see it really quickly because it's most mesmerizing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then also on our list, as one of the sure qualifiers, according to all three of us at least, <laughs> Albania. Ah, yes. Yeah, well, I already just praised Albania. I suppose I'll do it again. <laughs> yes. I mean, not? Angela Peristeri was last in odds before tonight, and she delivered a very strong rehearsal. Um, I think the best that I can describe it is it's sort of like, similar to Love Wave with a little bit of Bulletproof thrown in. The color scheme of Bulletproof applied to a staging concept very similar to Love Wave. So it's very Sasha Jean-Baptiste in other words, but it works really well. The timing of the backdrop and the, and the what is it? The smoke thingies that she uses, mm -hmm. and they're not exactly pyres, but the smoke that she uses is impeccable. Angela really sells it. She looks gorgeous. She has legs for days. Um, her voice is very good. I, I mean, I think, you know, it's not the route where I would have expected Albania to go because I thought they would go for something folkloristic and ethnic. Yeah. Instead, they went for something modern and stylistic, which actually proves how good of a song this is because you can actually adapt it to this setting. You can do both of it. It's, it I always thought Albania was uh, was underrated, but it's really ple and it's really pleasing to see it confirmed because I always believe in its chances and it's very, very happy yeah. to see that rewarded. Oh, I hear you on that one. That is good news. And the ninth country we agree, all three of us, <laughs> is actually Denmark. Oh, and I was surprised about that. Not like a sad surprise because I'm going to ask you as well in just a second, but I, before I came here, I had still Denmark as a non I always loved that song. But something just switched within me. I'm like, this is coming together. I think this is going to do better than a lot of people think. And I put it as a non Did anyone have as a non qualifier before and now as a qualifier? Mm -hmm. So you always had it as one and now you already you yeah. changed your mind? I already thought they would qualify, but only because they were on last, which I think is a huge, it is. huge advantage mm -hmm. here. Um, like, you know, I think in terms of like security, Senhit and, and Fuhr Flamme are the least, are the ones I'm the least certain of, actually. Yes. So then where the, those are nine, we agree. And then Melanie and I agree that actually Portugal will go through. I said with Portugal, um, I had Portugal or Austria, right? One of those two will go through, I said. Initially, I had Austria as the qualifier and Portugal out after tonight. I flipped them around and said mm. Portugal will go through and Austria will be out. Um, so that's just my feeling. And after that beautiful staging, so Portugal is in according to me. And you had them in there before or? No, I had, they were dead last for me in this yeah. semifinal. <laughs> and then I saw the stage and I was like, no, guys, this is good. Staging may elevate it. This is going to qualify. Like they really point, bring out the song alive. And I'm just very happy to see that. that this also can happen. A song that you have that less can be a qualifier in just one moment. Yeah. Boris didn't think it's going to make it. Well, quick. I'm, I'm skeptic. I'm skeptic. I'm a skeptic when it comes down to Portugal. They, of course, fixed their main problem, which was the monotony and the repetitiveness of their song by adding that bridge. That's really good. But I like I've seen this happen before. I've seen this happen with Georgia in 2019. I've seen this happen with Blackbird, where this is a this is a song that's not too bad but that people are sleeping on. And then suddenly they realize, oh, this is actually good life. Maybe it qualifies, and then it barely does. Actually, it, it, it reminds me very strongly of Blackbird, because I think that Portugal now have a pretty good televote result, but I think the jury is going to let them down. That's what I think. Oh, fear. so that is a different approach. Very interesting. So this is where the agreement where Boris said no, the two of us said yes. What Boris uh, differs from us is actually his 10th, or not 10th qualifier, but the one that he picked was Estonia. Yeah, I and know. Tell us. It's actually ironic because I think Estonia is more of a, of a telephone. It's okay. Keep of talking. A telephone thing than a jury thing. <laughs> Don't drown me out, woman. <sighs> Robotic voice. So, uh, anyways, Uku Suviste. I think he had a very good. Like, I see no reason why Estonia would be an NQ because he had a very good rehearsal. His voice was in tune. He uh, adapted his song to the staging well. And I remember all three of us being like, oh. This was better than we thought it was. Something's got to give. I feel like the fact that people are underrating Estonia is now completely down to the fact that they're second in the running order. Mm -hmm. And considering that some of us have Slovenia as a qualifier in the first semi-final, <laughs> a semi-final which is much less open than this one, I think I'm perfectly fine with saying that Uku could qualify from this one. There's no reason why, I, why he should NQ. 
I think if someone gets shoved out of the of the, the ten that we mentioned, it's probably going to mm-hmm. be San Marino or Denmark. I would not be shocked if you are right. Even yeah. though I don't have him in there yet, I have him on my radar. I just feel like it's a uphill battle for him. But if someone can make that battle and climb it, it's Uko. So I am told it's on my radar. So if that were to happen, I would be actually quite happy because I have it in my personal top 10 in the semi. So I want him to go through. That's so, roughly how I feel about Portugal. Yeah. More or less. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So it's as you can see, even though we have that one dis- disagreement, we did not plan this. It was really just we put them in like, oh, wow, because I thought this is where the semi will be going to have like all these different opinions. Yeah. But this is where we mostly agree. How do you feel about it? Who were you? You, who are your 10 picks as of right now? I want to see them in the comment section. We'll be back tomorrow with the next round of rehearsal. It's second, I want to say second chance, but it's not a second chance. It's a second, second individual yeah. rehearsal. So we'll see you yeah. all then. Bye. Bye.